Walter Benjamin does not give any examples of a dialectical image, but he does privilege them as tools to recycle images, giving images new meaning and reconfiguring our conception of history. Following and departing from Jamie Barron's conception of temporal disparities, our reading of Shirkers directs us to four temporal points in the documentary. The moment that the archival footage is filmed, the moment that original footage is filmed, the moment of assembling both archival and original footage, and the moment of reception. Shirkers takes advantage of various editing and narrative strategies in order to create temporal disparities which allow the audience to explore new meanings that come from the juxtaposition of the archival footage, the then, and the original footage, the now. When I was 18, a long time ago now, I had the idea that you found freedom by building worlds inside your head. That you had to go backwards in order to go forwards. A critical point of this documentary is the silent sequence. What is reawakened in this sequence is the filmmaker's lost filmmaking dreams and desires. This sequence is dialectical because it has been ripped out of its original context. It was supposed to be a part of a narrative film that the subjects never finished, but it's now employed in this documentary about the rediscovery of the lost film footage. The film was a time capsule of a Singapore that was both real and imaginary. All objects have social histories attached to them. As the subjects look back at the footage, they do not see their own presence. Instead, they must think about what the footage means to them now, in the present time. Because the archival footage points to a past, speaking back to the present, these sequence indicates how history is not always linear. Rather, the past and the present are entangled with each other. In Shirkers, a temporal disparity is produced through the juxtaposition of each subject's past self seen in the archival footage with the present self seen in interviews. Here, we emphasize the dialectical nature of these moments in order to show how dialectical images generate new meanings. The images of those subjects and many physical spaces in Singapore present in Shirkers allow us to explore the dialectical nature of the documentary as a whole. I learned to stop thinking about that time. To pretend it never happened. Which was, of course, impossible. Ultimately, the reuse of the archival footage in Shirkers haunts the present with the past. By juxtaposing the archival footage with the present footage, the dialectical image is created to force the documentary subjects to re-examine their desires for filmmaking and their traumas associated with their past filmmaking experience. Therefore, these feelings of the past re-emerge in the now, as personal experiences at different points in history echo with one another.